Good morning, grade nines, and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Maths. Um, my name is Jo Milligan, and I just want to wish you a very happy Earth Day today, and I hope we can remember the environment, but we shouldn't only be remembering it today, we should be remembering it all the time. Um, and hopefully some of the stuff that you learn today and that you have picked up in the last two lessons, you can actually put into practice and one day maybe some of you will become architects and you can actually design um, environmentally friendly um, buildings for us to live in so that the world can become a better looking place. Right, my name is Jo Milligan and we're going to carry on with the construction of geometric figures. Today we are going to look at how to construct a rectangle using your compass. Now you may think, oh my gosh, this sounds intense. It can be, but let's just go through it step by step. Okay, so the first thing is that we obviously are going to need our compass. Um, and again, we need to make sure that we put the compass point in the correct places. So that part of the compass is very important. Okay, so let's start by drawing a line, and on that line we make a point, and we're going to call that point A. Remember, your compass point needs to go right in the middle of that point, and remember, like I said yesterday in the previous lesson, that you can actually make a little mark on your actual paper to make sure that the compass fits into that, that place, and it doesn't shift around. You mustn't make a big mark, just make a pinprick, basically. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we have learned how to construct a perpendicular line, so that's what we're going to do first. We're going to um, measure six centimeters with our compass on a ruler. Remember, you put the point of the compass on the zero mark on the ruler, and then you measure with um, the pencil on six centimeters. Then your, the distance between your pencil and your compass point will be six centimeters. So again, the compass point goes on A, your compass is six centimeters apart, and so you can draw an arc six centimeters. You um, swing your compass around and draw your arc on the other side, just like we did in the previous lesson. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you can label the point B, and then you can put your compass on point B, just like you did on point A, so the, the compass point goes on point B, and you draw an arc above A, okay? You do the same thing on the other side. You put it on the other arc. You don't have to label that point because it's not going to affect your rectangle, but you're gonna put your compass point on the other arc and then you're going to draw an arc above A, right? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your straight line that it's going to go from the middle of point A up through where the arcs cross. Okay, it's very important to make sure that it is where the arcs actually cross and not anywhere on those two arcs because then you'll make sure that it is a perpendicular line. Right, that is going to be four centimeters. So before you had drawn that, you could have actually measured four centimeters and you would have made another arc there and you would have um, created that is the first basically the second side of your rectangle. Can you see? We're starting to do a rectangle. There's the first side, and there's the second side. So you draw an arc, one arc going up from A, that's four centimeters, and that's your second side of your rectangle. And you can call that point D, okay? You're probably thinking, why A, B, D? But you will see as we go. Right, the next thing you're going to do is you need to do another perpendicular from point D. Okay, so again, you're going to draw an arc on AD and another one on the other side. Can you see? We've actually just basically taken that line and swapped it up to here so that you can do an arc there and you can see what we're going to do because we're going to draw two arcs from each, an arc from each point um, so that we can create a perpendicular line. So that line then will form the third side of your rectangle. But we need to know how long it needs to be. And if this line of the rect rectangle is six centimeters, we need to make sure that this line is also going to be six centimeters. And the way you do that is again, you're going to take your um, compass, you're going to measure six centimeters on your ruler, 
you're going to put your compass point on D, you're going to draw an arc six centimeters away. Okay, there we have our third side. Now that point is now point C. Can you see? So that our rectangle goes A, B, C, D. Okay, and then we are going to join points B and point C. And our rectangle is complete. Right, can you see? Rectangle, the properties of a rectangle, two opposite sides are equal in length, and we have got four um, right angles at each point. Right, let's do it all over again. I'm going to go a little bit slower this time in case you missed out some of the detail last time. So we draw our line again. First of all, our compass, we draw our line again. That your line can be any length because on that line you're going to create your rectangle. Okay, so we are going to put a point on the line and we're going to call it point A. We're first going to use our knowledge of how to construct a perpendicular to make sure that we can construct the first side of our rectangle. Well, actually the second side because the first side would be here. So the first thing we do is we're going to measure six centimeters along before we even start to construct the a perpendicular because our first side of our rectangle is going to be six centimeters. So we put the point on point A. Remember the point of the compass, very important to be on point A. And we are going to measure six centimeters and we're going to draw an arc. The other side of point A, we must also draw an arc. It should also be six centimeters so that we make sure that when we draw our two arcs above point A, that they meet at the right position. Okay, so there is our second arc, um, also six centimeters, but we don't need to label this because that is not going to be part of our rectangle. Okay, we put our compass points over here on point B and we cut an arc above A. You're going to take your compass point and you're going to put it on this arc and you're going to draw another arc above point A. Now if these are both six centimeters where that those two arcs cross will be directly above point A and we are going to draw a line and it will be a straight line. Okay, now this is not the next point. We need to now measure because we want to make our rectangle 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So we are going to cut an arc. We put our compass point back onto point A. We then measure, well first of all before we do that, we then measure on a ruler 4 centimeter difference between your um, pencil and your compass point. We put the compass point then on point A and we cut an arc four centimeters up on that line. We then are going to label that line, that point, sorry, point D. Okay, like I said to you, you've now seen why we label that D because the point over here is going to be C so that our rectangle can be called ABCD and not ABDC. Okay, right. Now we've got two sides of our rectangle. We need the third side. And the third side would probably be a good idea to draw a perpendicular from there. We could also draw a perpendicular from, from point B, but for today, let's do it from D, okay? We are now going to measure across here and draw an arc and across there. Remember the two distances need to be the same distance from point D. Okay, so we're going to draw an arc there and another one over there. Can you see they're different colors? I did them in different colors so that you could see what they were standing for and where they came from. So those two arcs are the distance from point D so that we can draw our two arcs up here, one from this side and one from this side to create a straight line from D. Okay, so that would be the first thing we do and there's the other arc. So one comes from that side and the other one comes from this side. Okay, we then can draw a straight line, but that is not, uh, that is the, the one side of the rectangle, but it is not the right measurement. So we need to make sure that it's the same measurement as this one. We then are going to measure six centimeters with our compass, put our compass points over there and draw an arc six centimeters away. 
Okay, there we go. That point, we're going to label point C. And because we've done this all with measurements and with the compass, this point C should fall directly above point B. And all we need to do then is link them together and that should be four centimeters. It would be a good idea for you to actually um, measure that and make sure that you are 100% correct. If you aren't, it might be because you didn't get the arcs exactly in the right place and you would need to probably just retrace your steps and figure out exactly where you may have gone wrong. Right, now like I said to you earlier, being Earth Day, we can actually start designing buildings where that is the ground floor plan. And if you've ever seen um, a picture of plans, they are very specific and when an architect draws, they have to be specific because the builders are going to use that to build a building. Right, let's go on. We're now going to construct a square. It's done in a very, very similar way to the rectangle, except that all four sides are equal. So basically, we're going to go over the whole routine again. Let's have a look. Okay, compass, most important thing. We're going to draw a line. We're going to put point A on that line, like we've been doing all the time. Again, we are going to construct a perpendicular by doing two arcs on that line that A appears on. And our square, as you can see, is going to be a four centimeter by four centimeter square. So the first thing, we're going to draw an arc along from A, four centimeters. And we're going to call that point B. You can see we've already done the arc on the other side because now we know that this one has to be the same distance as that one or the other way around. Okay, so we need to draw a perpendicular so we know also that it needs to be 4 centimeters, but we're going to first do our arcs, one from B and one from the other arc over there. And where they cross is directly above A. So we'll draw our line up. We need to cut at 4 centimeters. So again, we're going to put our compass point onto point A. We're going to cut an arc 4 centimeters up. And there we go. Can you see that arc is in red? And that is the point that, that is D of our square, okay? It is the one side of our square. Right, from D, we now need to create a perpendicular. So we're going to create the perpendicular by drawing an arc that side and an arc that side. There we go. And there's the other one. Same distance from D, both of them. Otherwise, where the arcs cross is not going to be right above B and along from D. So let's create the other two arcs. Can you see they're way past four centimeters, but that's okay. It just gives us guidance to draw that straight line. So there we have the straight line. We are now going to take our compass again and measure four centimeters on our ruler. And we are going to cut that line at four centimeters. And we're going to name that point C. And we will then just match up C with B, and we've created a square, 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Can you see the name of our square is A, B, C, D? Right, let's look at it again. I'm hoping that this is becoming easier for you. Um, if it is, then you just need to skip this part of the video and go on to the next part. But for those of you that are still a little bit worried about maybe leaving out an arc or not being able to cross them in the right places, let's go over it one more time. Okay, our line on it, we're going to put a point and we're going to call it point A. We're going to then cut two arcs, one on either side of the A, um, and we're going to make them four centimeters from the A. Okay, there we go. There's the one arc and there's the other arc. Again, they need to be both four centimeters along, otherwise where they cross at the top is not going to be right above point A. So therefore you won't get a straight line. Okay, we're gonna name that first point B, and then we're going to cut our two arcs above A. Draw in your straight line, making sure that that line goes exactly where the arcs cross. 
and we're then going to measure four centimeters again using our compass and we are going to cut an arc along the perpendicular up from A and there we have it okay we then are going to label that point D because it's actually the last point in our square because we will go A, B up there to C and along to D. Right. We're then going to create a perpendicular from D. So if you'd like to and it would make it easier for yourself, you can turn your page so that AD is the baseline. Okay. We're then going to cut an arc along AD. And another one on the other side of D, again, making sure that they are the same distance. Okay, from there, we cut the arcs along above D or along from D to the right, and we draw that line. As you can see, that line is not 4 centimeters, so we need to draw another arc 4 centimeters along from D, again, using our compass. There we go, there it is. And we're going to call that point C. And all we do now, because we've got three sides of our square, we will join B to C. Like that. And our square is done. Right. Let's go on. You can try this now. You can pause the video. Using your compass, construct a square, JKLM with sides of three centimeters. Use a piece of paper and everything that we've done so far to create your square, to construct your square. Right, let's see how you did. Okay, your compass, line, point on the line, point J, because remember, that is the first letter of the name of your square, so we start with J. We then have to take our compass and we have to me measure on a ruler that the point and the pencil are three centimeters apart. Okay, there we go, is our three centimeters. We can label the line already. And we cut an arc on that side. And we are going to cut an arc the same distance away on the other side. Right, the first arc that we cut, that is going to be K. Okay, because that is the second letter in our name of our square. So there is line JK or side JK of our square. Right, the next thing, remember, we have to create a perpendicular. So we are going to put our, our compass point on point K and we're going to cut an arc above J and then we're going to do the same thing from the other arc. Like that and like that. And that should be directly above J, and we will then draw up a straight line. Don't worry too much about the distance now, or the length of that line for now. It's just as long as it goes right through the, the, where the um, arcs cut. Right, then we need to make sure that we get a point on J um, that is 3 centimeters. So we put our compass point back onto J, and we cut an arc three centimeters above point J and now we're going to call that point M because that's the last point in our square okay we now have to create a perpendicular from M um, across to the right so we're going to make two cuts along JM um, one at the top and one below M so just like that and like that again the same distance from M. Okay, we then cut two arcs along to the right of M, one from the one point and one from the other point. You then are going to draw a line across, making sure it's a straight line. Um, you haven't yet got three centimeters because now you have to cut an arc, put your compass point on M and measure three centimeters along and cut that arc and call that point point L. Join L to K and you have your three centimeter square. Oops, that's a bit of a mistake. That's a four centimeter. Okay, it should be three centimeters along this line. Right. Should we watch it again? Line dot point J Three centimeters, cut an arc that side, cut an arc that side, 
point K because that's the second letter in the name of your square. We're now cutting arcs above J. We draw our line up. We can't put that as the next um, letter because it's not the right distance. We now measure the distance, cut an arc, and call that point M. From point M, we're going to draw a perpendicular. We're going to cut on the line JM between J and M and above M. We then are going to cut arcs to the right, draw our line in, then we're going to measure, cut an arc 3 centimeters, put that point in as point L, and then join L to K. And I think our funny 4 centimeters is going to come up again, but that is wrong. Remember, it is actually 3 centimeter line. So that shouldn't be there. Sorry. Right. Now you can try and draw your own rectangle using your compass. Construct rectangle OPQR with sides OP being 5 centimeters and QR being 2 centimeters. Okay, pause the video on your piece of paper, use your compass and draw that rectangle and we'll go over it together. Right, let's see how you did. I'm sure you've done very well because we've gone over this quite a few times. Okay, let's draw the line. Point A, uh, sorry, point O on the line, anywhere along the line, making sure that you've taken into account you need five centimeters on each side. Okay, measure five centimeters, cut an arc on the one side and an arc on the other side, same distance away, but the one we are going to label P. Okay, from O going up, we are going to, sorry, not from O. We are going to cut above O, but from P we are going to cut an arc, and from the other arc, on the other side, we are going to cut another arc. Again, we are going to draw a line straight up from O. But you can see here, there's 5 centimeters, so this side is going to need to be the 2 centimeter line. Again, we're going to measure with our compass 2 centimeters. We're going to put our point on the O and cut a 2 centimeter arc above the O. Okay? And we are going to name that point R. The next thing we need to do is draw a perpendicular from point R. So we're going to cut two arcs, one between OR and the other one above R. So there we go. There's our two arcs, making them the same distance apart. Then we're going to cut two arcs to the right of R, draw our straight line going straight through where the arcs cross. We then are going to measure five centimeters using our compass and put our compass point on R and cut an arc on that line that's five centimeters. That point will then be point Q and we then match up Q and P and that is then two centimeters and just measure it again with your ruler to make sure that it is actually two centimeters. Right, let's have another look. Let's just go through it again. I'm going to go through a little bit quicker this time um, because we've done this quite a lot. Okay, there's your line, there's your point, and your point is O. You're then going to cut arcs either side of O five centimeters apart. And to the right, you are going to name that point P. You're then going to cut arcs above O from point P and the other arc on the line of O. And so that you can draw a straight line up. That is not That forms part of the line of your um, rectangle, but obviously it doesn't go to those arcs. So we need to cut another arc that's 2 centimeters up. And that would be point R. Draw a perpendicular from point R. By cutting arcs, one above and one below point R, and then do your other arcs to form your perpendicular to the right of R. Draw in a straight line. Now you need to cut a, an arc five centimeters from R. Your point of your compass goes on R. You cut the arc there and label that point Q. Join Q and P. And that will also be two centimeters, and voila, you have.
your rectangle. Very well done. Okay, thank you grade nines for watching this lesson. I hope you have a lot of fun constructing your rectangles, your squares, your triangles. And what you could maybe do is you can start doing some construction of um, a plan for a house, for um, any kind of building, maybe even a school building. That would be nice. And come up with environmental friendly ways, environmentally friendly ways of actually how to construct Maybe that's a good idea, a new school, school building where you think that maybe we could use solar power and how the best way to, to use it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to do the activity and don't forget to email any queries that you may have to the grade 9 um, email address. Thank you and goodbye.